What's up team? Welcome back. It is your biggest fan of The Real Casadero. And in this broadcast, I wanted to share a channel with you that I just came across. And I came across this channel. It was discovered. I discovered it. Uh, no. Uh, I came across this channel because a comment was left on a previous broadcast. So I'm going to go over to the desktop and show you guys this comment. So this is OBS. This is the program I use to record these broadcasts. It's called Open Broadcaster. If you guys want to do the same thing, find this software, learn about it, and you can do the same thing. But we are here to talk about Maria, Tech Mentor Maria. Tech Mentor Maria left a comment on the channel here, and we're going to go read more. And for whatever, I can't zoom in on this, but I'm going to read it here. Hopefully you guys can see it. As an, as an engineering manager who, was, who has worked at, a, at FANG, that's uh, the big companies in the industry. We have Facebook, Amazon, um, Netflix, Google. And the other A, uh, I'm not sure what it's for, but just, you know, these large tech companies that focus specifically on tech. Now, these tech companies that are listed, interestingly enough, they focus on tech that is used to basically harvest your attention. Now, that is neither here nor there. But as you can see here, uh, these platforms do have useful information. And actually, in Tech Mentor Maria's intro video on her channel, if you check out Tech Mentor Maria, she uh, lays out. And she says some some cool stuff. Um, so at any rate, she says she's been doing this for seven years and she thinks it's always a good idea to continue learning and growing as a software engineer or cybersecurity professional. She is correct. This is an industry where you cannot stop learning. You will always be learning there. This is just the way it goes because we are on the cutting edge. Always. We are always on the edge of time, no matter what we're doing. So. Just bear in mind that, yes, you will constantly be learning if you want to continue to be good. And good means being of usefulness and utility in whatever industry that you have chosen to be in. She says getting certified can definitely be a great way to demonstrate your expertise. Right. Certifications show that you have interest in a particular thing um, and commitment to your field, as she says. She also says, and it can also open up, open up new job opportunities. And I can speak from experience that this is correct. Just by going out and learning these things and pursuing them and putting them on your resume, this is noticed because there's many individuals who are not necessarily interested in the particular thing. They're interested in the title. They're interested in the salary but they are not necessarily interested in the knowledge in anyone who's who has worked in or is working in information technology. They know that it is not something that you can easily turn on and off at a particular time or moment of the day. You find yourself in the middle of the night thinking about these things. And before you know it, you're on the computer and you're all over the Internet. You got a hundred tabs open with all of this research because you're interested. That being said, Maria says, it's important to remember that certification is just one piece of the puzzle. Hands on experience and a strong portfolio are also crucial for success in these fields. So the hands on experience in the portfolio. So basically what she's saying is when you learn these things, you must go out and apply them somehow. I have found that one of the best ways to apply what you're learning is to begin using the skills as soon as possible. So if you're taking an AWS course, for instance, I'm not taking a particular course right now, but in my profession, I must do some things in AWS. And I spend just about every day inside of some sort of Amazon environment, either personally or professionally. In order to interact with these environments, there is an understanding that we must have of the command line in order to send automated commands to these platforms um, and in order to do that right we must be able to do that now i also speaking from experience we can go out and study for and learn all the concepts and pass a certification but then when it comes to apply these things in real life we begin to dig through our head for these things and the knowledge isn't there what we must remember is that the knowledge that we have that gives us the ability to go out to the tool that's been constructed for us, which is the Internet, to find the exact ways to do these things. Um, but 
once we have done them, then we have knowledge in our head and we can continue to do these things over and over again. And they seemingly become easier, but they are not becoming easier. Is that our minds are being strengthened. Maria says, so while getting certified can be a helpful addition to your resume, don't forget to focus on building up your practical skills and experience as well. She's saying. If you have the interest, go and practice the interest. If you do not have the interest, do not waste your time on any of these things because you're not going to find excitement and enjoyment and fulfillment. If you are unable to start. Well, first off, if you're unable to make a decision, set a goal and then break that goal down into actionable steps. And then as you achieve those steps, use that knowledge to continue to build momentum. But anyway, I wanted to share this channel with you because it's brand new. She has 118 subscribers and she knows what she's talking about when it comes to tech just based on her comment and then the videos that she has uploaded already. So I implore you guys that if you're thinking about going down this road or you need some sort of motivation, this is most likely a good channel to check out and to subscribe to. Um, if tech is going to be the road that you're on, this could be a an addition to your tool belt, your arsenal of knowledge and information. That all being said, do not take everything being said by myself or anyone else at face value. There is knowledge in all things that are spoken. What I say is take this knowledge and go off into the silence and think about these things in the quietness of your mind and ponder over them and construct your own concepts and ideas and when you return from the silence back to the real world, go and attempt to apply and practice these things. And it has been my experience, and you can let me know if you experience something different, it has been my experience that you will see an increase in knowledge. And as that knowledge increases, you will experience an increase in confidence. And as that confidence increases, you will experience an increase in personal power. And as that, and as that personal power increases, you will begin to see things happen in the real world along the lines of what you've envisioned in your mind along the lines of what it is that you have been pursuing because you have identified something that you have interest in you have developed a feeling behind it and that feeling has given you the volition to act and now you're moving in that direction so team on that note i implore you to check out tech mentor maria's channel and also if you find this content here valuable, subscribe to the channel, share the broadcast where you can. If you so choose, that is not necessary. But by all means, leave a comment, leave a question. Let us know what you're thinking and leave a thumbs up. All of these things are going to tell the algorithms, the software out there that we're learning about that we want to understand. It tells the algorithm this information was important to this individual. And this individual thinks in a certain kind of way and there are other individuals, there are other intelligences that think in this same kind of way and they're seeking this level of knowledge as well. So we will, as an algorithm, as a computing entity, show this to those individuals. And what will happen is competition will not be created. What will happen is more ideas will be generated more individuals will develop confidence and as this happens all things will be elevated a rising tide lifts all boats except for those boats that have holes in them so how do you patch that hole is you guard the gates of your mind and you go off into the silence and you think about those things and you have something that you can bring back to the world that is of value i'm your biggest fan team the real casadero thanks for hanging out with Thank you for hanging out with me here, and I look forward to seeing you in the next broadcast, team.